I have um, her mother, Nala's body being cremated. It's almost done. It takes two burns to get it completely incinerated. And now her daughter, Magic, you can't see her well in this light, had been killed. She's been dead about a week. Right at the same time when we received the uh, five-day notice on the property. The person who sold me the property was trying to take it back and resell it when she has no legal right or authority to do so. And uh, so we were dealing with court, so I haven't had a chance to deal with her. So I'm going to get her cremated. We're supposed to have a rainstorm beginning in the middle of the night tonight and going all day tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started and get these guys cremated before the storm hits. But out of 11 goats, we sold two males at auction. We have one left, and the rest were killed. And we're not talking small breeds. We're talking Alpine, Nubian, La Mancha, all goats that weigh 120 pounds, 100, 100 pounds, 120 on average. So these aren't small animals that they've been killing recently. And then also, I want to make a note that the animals being killed, we've had more animals killed since the people moved in to 1501 Harmon Road, which is our next door neighbors to the north of us, than we have in the entire time, four years of our animals being killed. In the short period of time, they purchased the property in uh, September of last year. We already have documentation showing them trespassing on the property, videos and other documentation, and um, having my a copy of my SIM card and a copy of my uh, cyber stalking me and identity thefting and cyber thefting. The, our uh, devices recorded them at their address and their IP addresses and the MAC addresses of their devices. So it has been established that their location is one of the primary locations that we've been having issues with. And just because they recently purchased that property, they're not new to Fallon. They're associated with the Allegres on the other side of my property. On Thanksgiving Day, uh, they helped put the fence in between our property and their property. And so I have reason to believe that they're direct family members. If they're not, they're definitely close associates. But again, part of the people, the crime ring and the hate group that has been trying to drive me off my property. And they're also in cahoots with their former owner, offered her some money to try to find ways to get me off of the property, including changing county records. When well, we have the original records and we have all our documents, so that's not going to fly. What's more, the Department of Justice is involved as well as the FBI and several other groups federal agencies. None of this crap that they're trying to pull here is going to get, they're going to get away with. They're caught. They just don't know it. 